<clears throat> Alright. Um I'm not sure if Kelvin did send this, but I know there's a, like a couple of people said in the comments you've got to do. Because obviously we did the original, which is the singer yeah, of the mother. Actually both of the singers of the mothers. Um but everyone said, yeah, you gotta hear Zappa and the mothers do happy together. And I'm sure it, they said live at Fillmore East, but there's Fillmore West. There's like quite a few. So yeah, I picked this. I think this is the right one. But anyway, yeah. Frank Zappa and the Mothers happy together. Let's go. Say! It's only right to think about the girl you love And hold her tight, so happy together If I should call you up in rest of time And you say you belong to me And it's my mind, imagine how the world could be So girl and I, so happy together for coming to our concert tonight. I know that... Uh, <clears throat> in a way, it's sad that Bill Graham is closing down the Fillmore, but uh, I'm sure he'll get into something better. It's been lovely working for you this evening. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, before we get onto the tune side of things, the good night thing was, and it shows you how like movie, um, like basically, yeah, like we've been like we watched a documentary, like a composer, but also very movie like, because that was like a bit in a horror film like a ghost film or or a demon film or whatever loads of voices talking at different yeah and then the music and then the snap finish like it's all very like yeah like a movie almost but the tune I was cuz I was thinking cuz obviously that's a different version and I will say as a Beatles fan even the there's even the Zappa where he changes the words to the Beatles tunes. Musically, I think I don't think I've ever heard anybody recreate the Beatles music better than Frank Zappa has. Especially the I Am the Walrus. 
The I Am The Walrus is an amazing performance. He don't even do anything, but he got, he's got it. He's got it down, right? So he can do a true, a true version of it. But this was very zappified. Because it is a great tune. It is a great tune. And someone said in the comments of the last one, it's got, this has got to be on the list of greatest songs ever. It's a perfect song. But I was thinking, they was probably saying to Zappa, because like I say, Zappa can recreate it perfect. Like I say, the I Am The Walrus has blew my mind from for how close Zappa's version was to the original. It was mind-blowing. And so he can do a true creation. But I wonder if they were saying, please don't just make us sing that song. Because they must be sick of that song. Right? They must be. As much as it's a great song, they must be sick of singing it. So the fact that Zappa can come in and, and Zappify it, and, and do you know what I mean? It gives them a, yeah, to kind of do something else with it. Because it was very zap Zappified. Was very Zappified. But yeah. A great version. And that is what I thought. At first I was thinking, oh, he's kind of done his own kind of style. It is Zappa sounding style. But uh yeah, I thought I wonder how much of that was 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 them going, please, Zappa, don't make us sing that song. And Zappa again, like he well, like we saw in the documentary. But what if we just do this? Before you know it, he's got his own way. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that's fire. But yeah, that's the reactions all week. 